Hi, I'm Catherine and welcome to Scoutadelic. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a wild garlic pesto, but first, we have to go and forage for the wild garlic. So, come and join me. So, I'm in my local park and it's an area where I know there is wild garlic, so that's a bonus. But if you're unsure and you stumble across it, that's also great. The key is, have a smell. Now I've come off the main path in my local park and I wish it could be smelly vision because what I can smell now is, is the wild garlic hitting me. So that's a telltale sign that wild garlic is close by. There's a few things here that you need to remember. Whenever you're going out foraging, always take someone with you who knows what they are doing. When you are happy with finding the wild garlic or any other thing that is foraging, only take what you need. And remember, it's illegal to dig anything up from the, the wild and take it home with you. So here's wild garlic. We are coming to the end of the wild garlic season. I am a little bit late, but there is still enough to actually harvest. And what we're after, so here's the, so you can see the last of the white flowers. The smell is immense and you've got the seeds just forming there. But the part that we want for our wild garlic pesto is the leaf. So I've got my little ferret foraging bag, a little plastic bag, and I'm going to get collecting what I need from this little patch. So now that I've got my wild garlic, get it straight home and let's get making that pesto. Now we've got our wild garlic home, there are a few things that you will need. Along with your wild garlic, you're going to need some pine nuts, some grated parmesan cheese, half a lemon, salt and pepper and some virgin olive oil. So that's all the ingredients you're going to need, but you're also going to need a container to put it in, a small food processor and a sink and a bowl. So the first thing we need to do is wash our wild garlic just in case we've still got any creepy crawlies on there that we don't want in our um, pesto so you're going to give them a really good wash in the water once they've had a good wash just pull them out of the water it doesn't matter that there is a little bit of dampness on there as long as they're all clean and you've got any bits of other plants out of the way now there's two ways of doing this, you can use a knife to roughly chop up your wild garlic or you can just break it up into pieces with your hands. It's so simple and easy to do, it's entirely up to you and your own cooking preferences. So once we've done that, we're going to get our mini food processor and start layering in the wild garlic leaves. Okay. Once we've got a few in there, I'm just gonna take out the pips from my lemon because we don't want those in there. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. You don't need that much. Okay. And then we are going to put some of the grated cheese in the parmesan. So this is a hard cheese that helps with the flavour. So we're going to put some of those in and then the pine nuts. Now this is all to taste. I don't mind how much you put in but obviously don't overfill your food processor. Again I'm just tapping that down. I'm going to get a bit of salt and pepper in there at the main as well. Salt, pepper and again this is to taste going to have a good glug of the olive oil okay and then we're going to start the layering process again so I've got my food processor here I'm going to pop it on make sure it's nice and tight and then I'm going to pulse <laughs> So now that's blitzed, you can actually see that it has shrunk a lot. You can now taste it at this point and see what the taste is like Ooh. and also check that consistency. My hands are clean, so please remember to wash your hands before we start all of this. So it 
still a little lumpy and um, I'm going to add a few more um, leaves, a bit more um, pine nuts and some of the parmesan, the cheese, just to give it that extra depth. I just readjusted, added those few extra bits and my pesto is now ready. So you can either eat it straight away or you've got a handy jar to put it in. So my jar has been sterilised and all I'm going to do is just remove the sharp blade from my food processor, put it somewhere safe out the way and then I'm going to use a spoon to put the pesto into the jar. So there we have our wild garlic pesto. It is a brilliant, simple and quick and easy way to get a pesto and it's delicious.